So today we're going to talk to you about our 12mm RGBWW strip with a 60 LED display meter at 14.4 watts per meter. It is an IP00 strip and is available in cool white, natural white and warm white. So the strip does have a 5 wire cable at the end of each side of the strip roll and the length is of 15 centimeters. So what's so good about this LED strip? Well, it has a 12mm width and is powered by a 3 ounces high copper flexible PCB which makes it possible to maintain a cooler operating temperature despite the very high brightness. It is made with our RGBW SMD5050 LED chip and each chip is able to produce 20 lumens and you have 6 LEDs every 100mm and you can easily install it as it is fitted with a 3M adhesive tape. So let's talk about connectors now. In terms of connectors that we have available, we have the RGBW strip wire connector, it's a HIPPO connector. So for this side of the connector is where you will place your flat 5 core cable. So once you have your flat 5 core cable, you want to place that right at the back of the power side of the connector. Once you've done that, you can try and close the connector with your hands. If you're struggling, you can use a set of pliers and close each side of the connector. After that, what you can do is to check the flat 5 core cables and do a continuity test just to make sure that there will be current flowing from the cables through the connector to the LED strip. That will save you some time as well, just in case you put the strip on the other side and there's nothing happening on the LED strip. In that case, you will know there's an issue with the LED strip and not with the connector. Please know that this is an optional step that can save you some time. After that, you want to place your LED strip on the correct side of the connector. So you grab your LED strip and you place it right at the back of the connector. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close the connector. Once again, you might struggle to do it with your hands. So you can grab a set of pliers and gently close each side of the connector. After you've done that, we do strongly recommend to test the LED strip before you complete your installation. That is just to make sure that the PCB of the LED strip is making full contact with the connector. So what you can do is to just grab your 24 volt output of your LED driver, connect the positive side and then use your negative to test each channel of the LED strip. Also, we do have available our 12mm RGBW strip to strip connector. This connector can help you if you have two cuts of LED strip that you're trying to join together. So all you have to do is to just place the LED strip on each side of the connector. Just make sure that they have the correct polarity before closing the connector. And once you've done that, we just recommend to test each channel before completing your installation. We also do have available our 12mm RGBW solderless power connector with 15cm cable at the end. So what you have to make sure with this connector is that when you're sliding the LED strip inside, you have to make sure that the LED strip is making contact with the connector itself. Once you've done that, we will still recommend you going ahead to test the each channel separately just to make sure that the copper is making contact with the connector itself. Lastly, what we have available is our strip to strip 12 mm solderless connector. Now this connector has the same concept as the previous one. We just need to slide the LED strip on each side of the connector and the connector itself can be used for if there's some sort of distance between the two LED strips or perhaps depending on your installation this can also help you to go around some angles
For more information, you can visit our website, halalighting.co.uk. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button underneath this video and follow us on our Instagram and Twitter page. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.